guys. I hope you can hear me. It's super windy. But today, I'm going to look at maybe the cheapest property I've seen in Kiev. At least price per square meters. And I'm excited because the girl from New York Ukraine reached out to me. She watches my videos with Mold and she's like, Johnny, I got a good deal for you. Come take a look. So let's take a look. This is a really nice area of Kiev. It's just outside the center, but it's the quiet area. It's like the city center still. So guys, I'm just a few minutes early, but I'm so cold. I'm wearing shorts and it's the start of autumn. And I'm freezing. Fun fact, this is the third apartment I'm looking at buying. I already own two, but I don't own any long pants. My only long pants are being altered right now where they're being uh, fixed because I have holes in it. If you watch the video from me and Bald and Bankrupt looking for village wives. Come on, get out of this. Do I just jump? No, no, just jump for it. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh my God, you've just done a hernia. Oh no, look what Johnny's done. He's made oh. a, oh, Johnny. Johnny. I'm gonna get out of that freaking horse. Well, I ripped my only pair of pants while trying to get out that horse like a great Mongolian. Bank property. Wait, we, okay, so. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, can you teach you this year? Oh my God. She just made my hair stand. Look great. So this is Eva, this is Eva from your Ukraine. You find yes, a neat correct. person. Yes, yeah. and I'm happy about it. Yeah. And Super she, happy about it. Oh, good. So she's gonna show me uh, two places today. Yes, Okay. Correct. First one is what? First one, it's uh, the, um, also here. It's actually located everything in city center, closer to Pecherska, okay. Kloska, Metro, and it's gonna be 45 square meters okay. for $70,000. Okay. Nice. And then we're gonna take a look at the one right behind one us. One that I like the best. Okay, but yes. let's let's look at the worst one first. <laughs> but both sound pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Why are you selling cheap property? But I wanna sell expensive. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do both. So, nice courtyard kind of quiet off the street. Let's take a look. So this one, normal ceilings. And then, okay, let's take a look. What, what's, what size is it again, tell me? This is 45 square meters. Okay, for 77,000. So it's uh, a little bit under, so my math is not that good for Asian person. No, this 77, is... 77, <laughs> nah. yeah. less than 2,000 per square meter. Yes. Okay. Let me conclude. Seventy thousand seventy five. It's gonna be like one thousand seven hundred. Okay, around there. Okay. Okay. But better. Okay, I think we'll okay. Calculate after. Okay. Let me put some light. Okay. Because it's so dark. Okay. Looks like an Asian dojo. It's like somebody. No. This. <laughs> I can take a video if you. Is it, is so it, dark. It just one more time, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God! You cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just don't touch it. Okay. Just hold it and don't touch it. Just anymore. don't do nothing, woman. Thank <laughs> you guys. This one looks like an Asian dojo. <laughs> uh -huh. But Small I don't right? like so much this place like previous, okay. like that one. Do you know this what they're they're paying here per month? Uh, for it's here is very small. It's like. 1,000 greenness, 1,000 greenness in summertime, and around 2,000 in winter time. 2,000, okay. 2,005. Some months more. Some so like 35 less. to 75 dollars for the. That's for. Let's say 100 dollars. Okay. Yeah. That's for like heating for. Community. Everything, internet, okay. everything, water, electricity. And how much is the tenant paying for rent? Tenant pays 500. 500 dollars. Yes. Okay. No, but this is a little bit cheaper price because it's with viewing for sales. Normally it mm. costs like six, six. Oh, so the tenant can get a discount if they agree to let people to view in sometimes. To view sometimes. Okay, nice. Yeah. So this is the kitchen. It's a really tiny kitchen, but it's an apartment kitchen. It's okay. And what's in here? Oh, and here's the bath. So this one is actually just the bathtub, and I'm assuming the toilet is around the corner. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit strange design. The sink is here. This is here. Possible to change the wall and make kitchen living room together. It will be much better actually. Oh yeah, to open it up. You can, you can, you can see there is not the okay. main walls. Okay. Yeah, that, actually that would, that would be, be better. better. Much bigger. Much bigger and much 
Okay, and we can leave this here. Oh, I like that there's a small sink. It makes it very convenient to wash your hands because I hate using it and then going out, yeah. But it's a tiny boiler. It's like... Is it a... 40 liters. Is it? It looks like four liters. <laughs> it's not, is it 40? I think, I think it's, it's a 40 because it's a big ghost. Oh, it goes inside maybe, okay. No, there is a uh, smaller one that exists, I think so. Yeah, it's useless. Yeah. Actually, okay. here, is a, here is a room, but nobody knows how big it is. Really? Yeah. Why is there a secret room? <laughs> Lots of secret rooms in uh, post-Soviet Union countries. But why, how do you access it? You cannot. Just to break the wall. But why would they cover it up? I think it's just like a closet and they cover up. Why? Only God knows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys. But they, I, I'm, I'm afraid it's not a big one. It's like one, two, three square meters. But anyway. Ah. Oh, what if there's like treasures in there? Soviet treasures. <laughs> Everything possible. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Okay. Very simple. Okay, just give a light. Yeah. But Guys, I almost want to buy this space. Just knock down that wall and see what's in there. <laughs> but you always need to understand uh -huh. this is a starting price. Yeah. Same as in many different countries, but also all possible in countries. Mm. And, uh, it's a starting price, and you offer your price. Okay. Cash is a king. Mm. And uh, always make a target because if you not make target in Ukraine, mm. people are not gonna respect you. <laughs> no, okay. really. They're gonna think like oh strange and we'll be mm. skeptical. Like why? Okay. So we need, we need targets, guys. Always. <laughs> so this second property is actually a bank-owned property. I'm excited because I've never actually dealt with that here in Ukraine. I know the U.S. is very popular. You find something that's foreclosed by the bank, you just a good deal. Here in Ukraine. She's afraid that the bankers are lazy <laughs> because they don't want to show the properties. So you want to like give them a little gift, you know, to act make them actually show up and show you the place. All right, so while we're waiting for the banker to come open the door, we're going to grab a coffee just here. Nice little neighborhood. Okay. And water here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish the government uh, workers would also be working because yes. we're after sitting here, we got the phone and they're like, and were, they were supposed to come in the government or what? Yes, they're supposed to, but they show too much property and they don't really have this very good customer service. Oh, so the government offices don't have good customer service in Ukraine? I am shocked, I'm surprised. Ukrainians not <laughs> because it takes time because they don't have actually motivation. They yeah. have just salary. Probably just salary. As well. Yes, yes, and yes. So and tough schedule. Yeah, so they work a lot. They show a lot of these places, but I'm, I really want to see this place. Like yes. just on paper, like I didn't look at it yet, but I'm like I know the the area. I calculated the cost per meter, and I was like, okay, how about it? Already, like already in my mind, I, like I'm already starting to calculate. Uh, I will move my right here to buy it like this. Yeah. But we just need to see it, guys. Yes, of course. This is a see it, touch it, ask it, everything. Yeah. And I send the documents. Uh -huh. and, uh, because easy to buy for 100, 200,000, but difficult to buy for 57. Yeah, it's impossible. Like uh, everything possible in Ukraine. No yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. It's impossible to find by yourself. Say that so I just want to show you different perspective. Why not? Yeah, so let's hope we get this <laughs> and watch it taken after our coffees. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> so, while waiting around for the agent, we came uh, to do some pull ups. I play the dog. Smile, smile. <laughs> 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 oh. Be a polite dog. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is what I want. I want to buy an apartment around here. I want to get a dog too. And then we'll come here to pull up every day. Uh -huh. Walk the dog in the garden. You're gonna come every day here. Yeah. Every day. 
Yeah, you come, you come in every day, at morning and at evening. Okay. So easy, yeah. easy life. Yeah. Perfect life. <laughs> <laughs> Ukraine and paradise. Yeah. yeah. But first, we need me and Bald need to go back and find a village wives to into Ukraine. Okay, we're back to Kiev. <laughs> It also That's works. <laughs> no, actually, village too. But the village better in West Ukraine. Ah. There is proportion of ladies much more higher oh. than men. Okay, let's go. And we actually have village of brides. Really? Yes. What's the name? It's in Zakarpatia. I need to. I need to discover. This is, can be actually very cool. Hide the gem. <laughs> village of brides. Yes. Oh. Yes. And we have special church also where lady pray to meet husband. Yeah. Wow. Okay, <laughs> guys. Think you're gonna be there. I think we have to go. Come on. <laughs> a, a church where single ladies go to pray to find a husband. Yes. And we just happen to be standing outside with flowers. Oh, church, yes. Okay. We've been down the back road to the village. Mm -hmm. We found zero action. Although I did have a little hug, a cheeky hug with a babushka. Let's go. And we're just like, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't listen to your prayers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you later, das Vidania. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to a place called Ban Mi versus Marketing for lunch, just around the corner. And Ban Mi means Vietnamese French sandwich. Oh, they locked the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is it maybe it's unlocked? No. There you go. So we can get a bandy for four dollars. Maybe something else. Supposedly supposed to be fan me, but it looks like it doesn't look like French bread at all. It looks like wheat bread, like a wheat white bread. I can tell it's not gonna be good already. Fan me looks okay. Fan me versus marketing guys. The yeah, ramen's definitely not very authentic, so I don't know why I was expecting this to be, but definitely does not feel like French bread. French bread in supermarkets. You should use that. What, what, what is this? This is definitely not bad meat. This is definitely not French bread. All right, so we just got done with lunch. The pho was okay. Needed some salt, but the bad meat was terrible, guys. The Vietnamese sandwich. It's supposed to be on French bread, but it was on like some kind of wheat, like something from Subway. What you would get. Turns out the owner has never been to Vietnam or eaten a banh mi before. So <laughs> I'm like, I should open a borscht restaurant even though I've never had borscht before. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's actually a very big problem. We have very small number of Ukrainian restaurants here. Yeah. In, especially in city centers, there is only few. I know. There's like Pizza and then like one uh, or two more. That's it. This is like fast food. Yeah. So, oh well. Anyways, we're gonna go visit her mom while waiting for. Yes, of course. We're waiting for that government time, agent. Time for Jenny to visit my mom. Okay. Hi, I'm Ukraine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> cool video, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so fast. So fast. Okay, there you go. Oh, it's Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I got tricked. We're not seeing her, her real mom. I it's was like mama. looking forward to some boar, some Veronica, yes. even though I just had that terrible bad me. But we were actually going to go see Mama, mama Ukraine. Ukraine. Monument of Mazovets. Is that Mama Ukraine? No, it's a Dedushka. No, Dedushka Ukraine. Mama Ukraine is here. <laughs> so this is some tanks on the side and every one gets smaller and smaller so and then, then you go. okay you go oh so here we have a v opal bus i think we 
Yeah. So these cars are fighting with tanks. Wow. And then this is like a little pickup truck. And I'm pretty sure this is like a BMW station wagon. Like, how? Why? Why is it like this? When war started, it was no tanks that Ukraine have, so people, it's like half suicide. They fight wow. with tanks on private cars. Really? Yes. That's crazy. No, of course they modificate them sometimes. Maybe yeah. Maybe they get the, like, stronger, but this is what's beginning the, oh my God. the war, yeah? That's why, that's why 14,000 soldiers died and militaries. But there's so many tanks, like at the parade, now, we saw yes. so many. Now, yes. We have factories that produce uh -huh. it in Kharkov, actually. But in the first days, it was nothing. Like, what, what 2014? 2015, yes, it was nothing because uh, uh, we even have a program like demilitarization of Ukraine. Uh -huh. So it was special program that we like, uh, because we was sure that we have Bud Budapest agreement oh. and nobody was ready for war. Wow. So people made their own tanks, fighter, tank fighters out of uh, VW buses and pickup trucks. Yeah. So this is actually somebody's private vehicle. Wow, and they made it into and a tank. They just for my like a tank. And there is you see there is everything changing. Yeah, that's crazy. It's really like crazy. There is bullet holes. And wow. That's really interesting. It's like an office chair. And but it's like this one. This is probably from explosion left. Wow. Like, so it's real everything. That's insane. Look. This is like behind the office chair. There's a little hole for the gun. And as you can see, there, this is like handmade, like yeah. primitive, um, just people in factory did. Like, oh, that's crazy. But we win. And we win. It's uh, because uh, it was uh, all Donetsk, Lugansk under Russian control. Mm -hmm. Now they left only three per three percent of the this district. So it's almost like tiny, almost nothing. <sighs> A big price. Yeah. That's for this. Kinda... No, no, no. Nobody never take Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would take Ukraine. Okay. Never. <laughs> Look, here is the farmers. Yeah. People farmers and people very sensitive about that. Yeah. Try to take land from farmers in US. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna hang out here for an hour. Do we first need to drink a vodka? Do you want? <laughs> in the sun yeah very nice very Ukrainian guys <laughs> I've been, I've been work I've been working on my Ukrainian Every day. Yeah. <laughs> Soon you're gonna be local. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> you won't turn up, it's come to your life. Yeah. Okay, we could drink non alcohol. Like a kvas, uzvar. Yeah, I could have it. So I was looking at these like local drinks and then I realized next to it is the fat menu. Fat from special mm. ground pigs, <laughs> meter fat, salted fat, fat with black pepper and paprika, fat spread, general fat. This is extreme for you. <laughs> <laughs> Baked fat. What else what other fat do we have? Uh, in Ukraine, everybody fit and nice. You know why? They eat in fat. Yeah, that's true. Keto diet. Yeah. Keto diet, but yeah. we know this 100 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, it's so cold. We are so moving inside. Oh, thank you. This is really heavy. Yeah, that's even more Ukrainian. Guys, look at this place. This is the most Ukrainian restaurant in the world. <laughs> so we have this brown bread and some pink fat. And this is delicious. Yeah. Is this um, alcohol? 
Barely. Which one do you want? Uh, this one for you. This is for men, this is for ladies. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, good more? Good more. Let's live forever, it means. Uh, I don't want to live too long. <laughs> good more. Let's Let live just long enough. Let's exist forever. Let's live forever. Mm. Barely alcohol. It's strong. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you before maybe try Russian style. Oh, it's strong. Because vodka it's 40 degrees. Gorilka yeah. it's 70. Oh. And this is like 60 only. Only 60. <laughs> okay. So guys. <laughs> so guys, it's four hours later, and we're sitting in a wine shop near my apartment. I'm still waiting to see it. For four hours, guys. Oh my gosh. No worries. In your brain, you never worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're surrounded by this much alcohol. This is why you couldn't need to drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've been waiting for so long, we decided to grab a glass of whiskey and we tried the art bag. Alright, cheers, your beanies oh, and my whiskey. For your success in your family. Mm, it's gonna be realistic. You will. You're yeah. ready on the way. Yeah. On the way. Mm. If you make key, you're gonna make also so it will come. It's a gate that opens the door. So normally I wouldn't order uh, whiskey at three in the afternoon, but you might have some time to kill. And we're in a whiskey wine shop, and somebody was comparing the Macallan 12 versus the Ardbeg, which I never heard of, so I did a little quick Google. I would say. If you love smoky, complex whiskeys, you like this. But if you uh, are like a normal human being, you'll hate it. It's strong. <laughs> Sorry, I wouldn't. I, I, I'm glad I tried it, but uh, it's way too strong to eat drink normally. I have been from this, and I'm already feeling strong. <laughs> yeah. This just, is... just win a little bit. Comes from this whiskey, and I think this is like. <laughs> this is not for this is not for uh, your average. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not average. Robert, did you win that? If you. So here's the art bag on top. That's the telescope diameter I did for actually. Here's all the kind of other standard whiskeys. If you guys ever want to buy me whiskey, please don't buy me this art bag. It's too strong for me. Give me the Macallan 12. Or the 18 if you can afford it. But I'll settle for. Uh, Palatine. Here's something a lot of people don't realize about alcohol, right? With wine, they think more expensive wine, the taster is. It's untrue. Expensive red wine just tastes more pungent, more complicated. It tastes like, you know, fungus, or it tastes like uh, grandma's socks or something. I, mean, I don't want that. I want something sweet. Sweet, young, <laughs> fragrant, refreshing, you know? Give me my, my the cheap wine and the cheap whiskey. I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. So, cheers. Good morning. Good morning. So, guys. No, no, write it. Write it. Just finish writing it. What are you doing? No, I think it's a very honest okay. video. Because uh -huh. it's how works the Ukrainian government executive services. They very slow. Probably, we, we can suppose there is a corruption behind Because if it's a private person, you want to buy it for good budget okay. apartments so, we, so we're not meeting the owner of the apartments We're supposed to be meeting... A government person Okay Who is responsible to show this apartment Okay, what's his name? Oh, his name is Yuri But actually I can... I can, I can actually, one second, I'm gonna tell name, full name Okay one sec. Because it's very important. His name is, it's a two of them. And the most, the responsible person is by Duke Dmitry Volodymyrovich. But we're gonna get that anyway. Anyway. Okay. So Yuri, you made us wait here for five hours. You had same, like you had told us to meet you at 11 a.m. And we got here at 11, we called and he said, oh, Sorry, I'm gonna be one or two hours late. And I said, okay, we'll have lunch, we'll wait. And then you didn't answer your phone. It's been five hours been waiting for you. 
what are you doing, man? Yeah. Okay, so, sorry guys, but we are not gonna buy an apartment from the government auction because it's probably gonna go to some guy who's paying a big bribe to this Yuri guy. What to do? Welcome to Ukraine. Welcome to corruption. I'll be okay. <laughs> no, somebody can give up. You're gonna have success in Ukraine. I'll hope so. Okay, okay that's my idea. Bye bye.